what is education really? You know, Yale University, our friend was referring to Yale University. There's a professor of English at Yale University called William Dereswix. He has written a beautiful article. I recommend all of you to read that. It's called Disadvantages of Elite Education. We are creating a set of people who are so concentrated in themselves and they have built a wall around themselves and they can't communicate with the outside world. In my concept, I've been a teacher for more than half a century and I've taught students all over the world and my concept is education is to make a healthy mind and not just a wealthy career. Today, look at India. Every university is under distress. There's unrest. Why unrest? Educational campuses should create healthy minds. Healthy minds. What is the definition of healthy mind? Healthy mind is that mind which has got enthusiasm to work. Enthusiasm to work. Mark my words. Enthusiasm to work. And enthusiasm to be compassionate. Ask yourself a question tomorrow morning. Do I want to go to school or do I have to go to school? 99% will say, I have to go to school. Not even one person will say, I want to go to school. Do you know why? We have created the schools in such a way that the Nobel laureate Dr. Alexis Carroll in his book, Man the Unknown, wrote, every newborn child is a genius, only to be converted into an idiot in school. I was observing a child, day before yesterday, I was in the Bangalore airport. As usual, we were in the bus, like the herded things to be taken to the aircraft, but the last VIP passenger did not come. So I stuck in the bus, waiting for the VIP passenger. And there was this little kid in the bus, four-year-old kid, with his father and mother, and a young sister, two-year-old sister, who needed to be fed. And the mother and the father were concentrating on that. But this boy was so curious, you know. This is real curiosity of a scientist. The boy was jumping. Dad, look at that huge plane, Dad. Are we going in that plane? The dad was feeling so bad. Because, you know, he is very sophisticated, educated, educated person. He didn't want his son to disturb the... He said, shh, hey, keep going, keep going. Hey, 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 hey. Look at that big one. The other one is moving. It's moving like a bus. It's not flying. Are we going in that one? See the curiosity? He was seeing a huge 737 getting out of its bay and it was just taxiing. So this boy thought, this will run like a bus. He didn't want to go in that. And then I was, I was watching. The dad was trying to suppress him, but he wouldn't get suppressed. Now, there comes this small little bombardier of the spice jet, which is that coming. He said, look at the child of that big plane, dad. Okay, we can go in that. I love that child. See that? This is called curiosity. And if you have the same curiosity as an adult, organize it a bit, touch it with a little skepticism, you become a brilliant scientist. Today what is science? Building a laser dependent, what is it called, gravitational wave center, which will take science forwards. I don't know how many of you remember, a few months ago, maybe a year ago, the CERN scientists said, we have now got the God particle. Which of course the scientist was the God M particle, the editor made it the God particle. And the God particle is the basic founder, foundation stone of this universe. We are 99%, 9% sure, but not 100%. Why? Their first, that grant had come to an end, and the second grant was due, and you got to write a paper saying that you got something positive, otherwise the next grant won't come. Today, science is not curiosity, but grant collecting, paper writing, CV building, and then going up the ladder. This is not science, my dear friends. <laughs> Gravitational waves are reported to have been seen. And everybody gives credit to Albert Einstein. I don't know if Albert Einstein ever knew about gravitation waves. Because you are told Albert Einstein is great, he made the relativity theory, the uh, special relativity theory and what have you. But have you checked whether these theories have been proven right or wrong by experiment? No, you didn't bother because they're not taught in the school. So friends, we have all become what we are 
because her educational system is wrong. Let us have an educational system which makes human beings have a healthy mind.